everyone, I'm Karen Walby Solomon, and welcome to What's IGN Crushing On, IGN Africa's official entertainment podcast. I'm your host, and I'm joined as always by my producer and editor Rebecca Barchers. So, this is a show where we discuss all things entertainment and pop culture with a new guest every week. We bring recommendations, news, and fun facts sometimes touching on the more serious issues surrounding these topics. Hello and welcome to our Christmas episode. Christmas is actually my favorite time of the year, where there's like the music, the movies, the food, and there's just this like special air about it. I love... um, going to midnight mass, getting a new outfit, getting my hair done. And I'm very aware of the fact that that's not going to happen this year. I'm not going to see a bulk of my family. I'm not going to go to midnight mass. I'm not going to get any new outfits. And it's sad, but it's also, it's different. Um, And even though I love Christmas so much... Um, and I consider myself a bit of a Christmas connoisseur, I'm no way close to my sister. She's the type of person who decorates every corner of the house, who buys gifts for everyone, who is like constantly playing Christmas music. Um, And she like truly indulged in the Christmas spirit. So because, you know, I believe that the spirit of Christmas is all about love and family, um, we're doing things a little bit different this week. We don't have some big name guests, but um, we'll be joined on the podcast by some members of my family, my mom and my sister. My actual immediate family is huge, 12 people, and and we couldn't get them all on because scheduling would have been a mess. And I don't know who would want to listen to all these people complaining and shouting at each other other than members of the family. But yeah, we kept it small and... Um, so firstly, we're going to listen to a chat that my sister and I had with my mom. And we reminisce about some Christmas memories. She, of course, drags me as she's one to do. And she also talks about some of the nonsense she enjoys watching. A lot of trash TV, but that's her fave. And then after that, there's a more in-depth conversation with my sister, Vanessa. So my sister, she studied psych. Um, she was a teacher for many years. Now she's a corporate trainer, she has a master's in adult education, and she's always thinking about like the psychology around situations and sort of how it affects people when they're younger, how it affects them when they're older. So that's sort of the angle at which she approached the conversation. And we talk about things like Christmas movies, why we enjoy some, why we don't enjoy others. Um, we spoke about what the Christmas spirit actually means and how we can enjoy Christmas during this these, this time of COVID. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the conversation. Stay tuned for the end. I will give you some of my favorite Christmas movies, of course, and what else I'm crashing on. And yeah, let us know what you think. Here's our chats with Val, my mom, and Vanessa, my sister. Oh, and don't talk about when Karen got 50 rand and he must go and buy 20 gifts. <laughs> Green market school. Shame. Oh, I bought for everybody. Oh. <laughs> we got the green market school. We went to the ten, the crazy store oh in no, um, no, the Golden did, Acre. No, we did also. There were two years that I had to go with you to town. We went by train. Huh? No? I think we went by train. Yes, because we had to go. It was a whole outing. The... Then you go, then you look and look and look. And now we're trying to find things that's like 10 rand. Oh. You know, like a letter opener you bought one year for daddy. Mm, I don't don't they ever use that? <laughs> <laughs> so they're like a man on the, on the other end. Mm. I was very proud. Do you remember one time when I bought you that, that yellow plastic glasses? Mm, I still have it. Uh, you see? You still have it. I bought it at the but I don't. Shop. But I don't actually throw stuff away. Is that, is that the, um, the, the, the champagne one? The goblet. Mm. Mm. So I just bought him that and then I bought him like a... Um, so you could have champ- recorded this now. Oh, <laughs> and a champagne, um, like a champagne bottle. But then I used to buy. It's still my ideas, probably that you. Yeah, had. you. <laughs> <laughs> we would have thought of a champagne bottle. Mm. 
But I didn't know. I remember I made a lot of 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 Christmas decoration, but like at school and stuff, so get paper cutters. Mm, and then I thought to myself, my word, <laughs> I wish it's gone. <laughs> Shame. And then you start. Well, why is mine here at the back? <laughs> then you go fetch it at the gate. <laughs> my word, that was again so proud that. Little Dolly, that knitted little angel, was always right in front. But the knitted angel never even looked like an angel. <laughs> it was always the first thing that must go on. She actually, she actually scratched in that box to look for that angel. And I thought, I wish it's gone. Right in front of you. And at that time, I was must still stole. It must be nice. Hmm. You still like it? Still like it? We need a change. Everybody must be smart. And I, think, and I see this funny... <laughs> Funny decoration. So did you just move it to the back of the tree every time? No, I no, it didn't. We left it. We left uh. it in front because she was now looking. Where's my angel? <laughs> but wasn't she sensitive about that for years? And yes, we were almost so scared because in the I eyes get full of tears. <laughs> I was very proud of, of the ones that I did make. I remember, like, I used It is, that is actually a person must be proud of, but because I was like nice stuff, so I wasn't proud. So you said the stuff that I made wasn't nice stuff, I mommy. She didn't display anybody's stuff. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't feel like it was a, a thing for you. Shame. Yeah. But you've learned now. I've learned actually that small things matter, but that time I was too busy. <laughs> so like mocking. Uh, your daddy always come with a. Christmas Eve, then you must still do stuff. <laughs> the tree's not even up yet. And so when people like put up their trees in like the beginning of A- December. Advent of Advent. And then mm. I'm like, how do you know this? I know 23rd of December. Mm. <laughs> the house must be like spotless, spotless before the tree goes up. And we must still busy the 23rd. Windows must still be washed. <laughs> <laughs> the girls will feel come and go home and now you must still be put up. <laughs> Daddy come home. You know, party of the party in the dockyard. And then we must still go look for now, like a nice tree because because by the time we go buy a tree, then all the, the, the mm-hmm. nice <laughs> trees are dying. <laughs> nice <laughs> oh, and okay, when this was a baby, whenever we get the tree, you thought that pick and must close early, man, mm. one o'clock or so. I, I think I was probably 20 to 1 today. We still have anything to go buy her <laughs> present. <laughs> bicycle. What's your oh, bicycle? Quite. bicycle. Mm. It's a bike. Did I have tri- tricycle? Did I have tricycle. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, ride it. Probably one or two. <laughs> but I remember one year you mm. bought me a that Cindy doll, that ballerina doll was so it was so like the fashion. But so you only could buy me a Debbie doll. <laughs> <laughs> but the but, no, but, not a Cindy doll. <laughs> Yeah, baby, the city dolls, uh, the lumps could like, uh, like, 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 Remember that, that parrot that I got? Oh. <laughs> but that was the best Christmas. <laughs> you were I mean, and you I weren't even there. I mean, they were, it was the night before, and they, I mean, you're sleeping because you like, waiting. But oh, they were on that stairs there. <laughs> and they were like, hello. And the parrot went, hello. <laughs> and they were like, go, go buy like, some tea. Go buy some tea. <laughs> That was now. Because um, yeah. I, what I remember is that I remember waking up and obviously now going to go, go unwrap the present. And then I took it to their room now. Then I'd be like, oh, my well, like, that's what I got. And they, they took it from me. <laughs> <laughs> and then the two of them started playing. <laughs> then they were repeating stuff. And I'm just lumbering there on the side. like not. <laughs> but I went to come every Christmas, not Christmas Eve from mm. church. Become open gifts. Excited. But yeah, I'm sure we didn't get such quiet gifts also. No, but we didn't get gifts for a while now when we were mm. teenagers. We never ever got gifts. Mm. And then, uh, I think probably in high school, we didn't really get Christmas gifts. I don't recall getting Christmas gifts at all during, we used to maybe get an outfit or whatever. Mm. And then there was a time when Wayne and I worked. No, there was like one year, I think we just decided we're going to buy everybody. And that was exciting because <laughs> we actually had presents under the, under the three mm. years. Good times of the trees, <laughs> presents. So like as it cost us. You know, I used once when I started getting gifts from Vanessa and then it was the best. <laughs> and I still am so four gifts Christmas time. 
Yeah, we didn't know that life guarantee. <laughs> mm. Oh, but you're also the old. So no. You saw the so. older. I mean, you didn't have older siblings to buy you stuff. Mm-mm. I we can't imagine a lot about Nina. Nina just was around. Her. <laughs> How do you know? Was she was used to buy gifts with Vanessa a lot of the time. Mm. They used to like club buy. Because they must be humans for me, they love a lamp. Nina and I. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we clapped together a lot of times at the beginning also. Yeah, Wayne and I were so proud and we bought mommy that vinegar. I no, still have it. I just want to give it away now. <laughs> it's like cut glass and. Um, mm. But I used it a lot. Mm. She did actually. It was an anniversary gift actually. So you let Vanessa like giving gifts now because she didn't get the lot. My love language. <laughs> Your love language. <laughs> but she didn't. Anyway, <coughs> that's a life, thing. Eh? Yep, we're all gonna die. Mmm, that's how. Let me say the other day, she's like, she's like, oh, when, when you just feel like this. She was keep on telling me about me and her deeds. So I said, you will just feel this cold. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Aren't you going to rest in peace? Yeah. I said, what? You the one here. Such a... <laughs> what do you want to still have business uh, around here? No, you come. So, no, she's so busted. <laughs> no, you come like oh. this. Uh, 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 uh. Like you... a cold wind. No, man. But, but that lady that's on TV. Oh, long. I said, long mom, island. imagine I must go to a, a medium. Oh. Then, and, and now she's not dead. And then she'll push her way to the front <laughs> to come tell me. <laughs> but Raja is <laughs> coming forward. They're very, they're very happy. What you're doing. They in, they're actually at peace. But they're wondering what you're wearing for. <laughs> what will I wonder what she's wearing? But I think she's she was be married by that time. But now, um, why do you why do you think that you that you like that long island? Because do you remember how she used to long watch? Island medium. Yeah, mm-hmm. Long Island Media. Yeah, Long Island Media. Do you remember how she used to watch that um, John, John, John Edward John, crossing John, over with John? John. <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. But why, what, why do you think you like it so much? It's weird. They say they, they, they've got this gift. But why, why do you think you like it? I'm saying, I like to see who's coming forward <laughs> and who that dies. And, and then, and, and <laughs> lot it goes of, back to those, those, those funerals when the body used to stay in the houses like that. Yeah, but for some, oh, I'm mean, not saying for someone who's as scared of ghosts and spirits and stuff as you are, the fact that you want to watch it is weird for me. I like to see how people that uh, uh, look, the family is worried. He died in an accident, and they don't know what really is, and so then she, they go to her after a battling long with with that feeling, and then they go to her, and then she reassured them that that busy came forward, and. He, but then she recorded and then she must say things that that they know that only they knew about. That the small things and that this But that's just to prove that it's real, that it's now it's really them or whatever. It's really them will say then they feel satisfied. Even they like all stuff like that because that's also like long lost family. Mm. If you think about it. So it's like families coming together, making sure everyone's okay. But long lost family is liquor though. <laughs> <laughs> No, that is, that's a guaranteed cry. Yeah. But okay, wait, I want to ask her quickly, Mommy, for <laughs> Bobby's dad. Um, why, another show that that, uh, that that Mommy watches that I'm like, I, I don't understand, is that Plathville people. I didn't watch for a long time. Who? Do you know what Welcome to Plathville? Not at all. Welcome to Plathville. Mm, I didn't just watch it. No, no, she watches it all the time. Who? No, they, it was off. No, oh. but off. I didn't watch. But what is it about? It's about this family that they they they, they ra- on the form they raise the children on the form they have lots of children, but they were raised like in the old <laughs> days. You know, where there's no TV. Oh, like the, the Amish. Uh, but they yes, like Amish. Similar so. to that. No, but they wear normal clothes. They wear but they are, their clothes. But they wear smart clothes. They buy them everything. And they have like appliances and stuff. Mm, they have all those things, but they were all like together. They never mix with other children. They don't know about. Cell phones, nothing. It's more like and, Mormons. Mm, I could tell you about this Mormon too. But <laughs> anyway, so but now when they reach 18, mm. then they must must and go on their own. The yeah, yeah. so think Ethan is two. I mean, <laughs> 18, they go on their own. So the eldest son now went and he met Ethan this girl. Ethan was Ethan. Mm, and he met this girl and she introduced him to wine. Look, they, they, they don't know that's the boo where mm. there's concern. And then, uh, I think, I, so anyway, so now everything that she not 
Now they got ma- they, then they can get married because they're not worried about that. But now all the different things they must got their own culture. Mm. They must do this and that. The mother's very disappointed. Then they went to a restaurant. It was somebody's birthday. Mariah's birthday. Uh, <laughs> and, they, <laughs> and they went to the restaurant and they and all like ordered the, the cool, long cool drinks and stuff like that. And he orders now a, a, a beer or a, yeah. with the mother's eyes almost popped out. And the, I, I think the daddy's eyes popped out. <laughs> Because well, he was not used to them drinking mm. or something, but that his wife also feel like, mm. you know, she doesn't know how also to behave in front of him. And then didn't they, that's when they gave Mariah that gift, the trip. Do you remember that? Was oh, that trip that they did? Uh, but she was, uh, the, his wife. Yes, she was. Ethan's wife said that she must go oh, so with Ethan's her. married now. Yes. Ethan's married. Oh. They get married when they're young. Oh. So because uh, they must don't want any scandal mm. or stuff mm. like that. But they say now for them it's weird because... The way they were reared and the way they go into the world, but that is when you want to keep your children out of the world mm-hmm. and they're in the world. Yeah. So that is not just. You can't really separate the two. Separate. But, the but ma- yeah, but now since Ethan is now with his wife, and now when, every time that Ethan comes to see his siblings, now he's obviously now introducing them to a new mm-hmm. thing, and now and then the one is like goody two shoes, mm-hmm. like it's almost like you know, you know, Brady Bunch, and then you know Jan. Okay. Um. So there's these two sisters that are like the same age as Mariah and there's another one. So the one is like goody two, she's like she don't want, mm. mustn't do, the parents go away. Mariah and, and the other brother, when the parents went away, the two of them was out. They <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't also want, but then this uh, Ethan, Alice brother, wasn't supposed to come to them. Can you remember that mm. episode that he came and he took them away and put them ice yes, cream? Yes. Oh, they were upset. But I mean, they're having a reality show, so I mean... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, uh, mm. what do you think? Uh, you you are putting yeah. your family on a reality show. Yeah, you're inviting mm. people in. You're, your... you're inviting it in. You're inviting all sorts of things in. Mm. So then, do you really want to keep them separated from the world? Yeah. You know? Uh, just, mm. It also makes you wonder, like, how much money they, they were offered. Because mm. uh, mm. to now invite... Because now they... Because, I mean, when they talk to the camera, they're, like, very candid. They're mm. like, yeah, we're not happy with this, with Ethan, and da, 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 da. So, like, they are very, so they must have been given a lot of money to uh, mm. to do that. Like Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, but Honey Boo Boo, you can see she wanted attention. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Or they want, her and yeah. her family wanted that kind of reaction. But now, that's what I don't understand about this platform thing. I'm like, why? Yeah, if you really don't want this, then why do you invite this into your life? I don't, I don't get that. And it's also like, what, um... Like now the children, I mean, especially now the teenagers, now everyone can see them. Mm, you know yeah. what I mean? But they're beautiful also. Uh, the, 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 that nerdy one is not so beautiful. No, but I mean the others mm. and, the, and the way they dress it. And Ethan's not so liquor. It's only the, uh, the two middle children, Mariah and the boy, they, you know, and the model. You think you're a model? Mm, it's a model too. I say mm. allow them. So mommy, why were you also into like, like that Bollywood stuff? Bollywood? No one's ever on Bollywood. No, it was Bollywood. It was Indian. Um, and they talk. Bollywood. It was a movie. No, it was. It was like a series. A series. And it was a mouth, series. Yeah, yes. Oh. It was a series. That they dabbed and in the mouth. Yeah, the yes, stuff is missing the, in the mouth. And, and they cry. Yeah, and they cry and it just like someone threw water on them. Yeah, but then they go like. <laughs> like the fact like it's a that flash. Like it's like a telenovela. I actually, I can't take that, that, that voice. It's the same voice as Auntie Joan also watched it. And I said, oh, I can't take it. That was so interesting and to see how, how they... I could never like watch it enough to become interested in it. You know what I mean? Like you have to watch. Mm-hmm. You know when you watch, start watching a soap, you have to watch a lot. But yeah, it's also about the culture, the, the old people control you when you're young, when mm-hmm. you get mm-hmm. married and... They've got all the say, you're, even you're rich, even worse. Tavan, is it about that, um, about that, that, the people, in, that lady in Nigeria, <coughs> they're marrying this, Niger- on 90 Day Fiance? They were like, oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Ah, shame, man. But, but they got, got married now. I don't know what, no, got married. She's my sort of sister, and she's did something. So, what? So they will now for uh, seven the years they were corresponding. She's American, not American. Yeah. Americans. They must yeah. have attitudes. The Americans. Americans, they do mm-hmm. have attitudes. They and mommy says this South African men also. Mm, this is African men also. This one, that one from Joburg. Mm. And one that one that said she must come to. Uh, and yeah. the other one from here, from no, Cape Town. Mm. No, the suburbs. But they got. But I see they, they're working through the, the things. But I thought <laughs> they were attitudes. And they go, 
I don't want to leave my husband. So anyway, so now this is a Nigerian. So she when I came, she they, it was now Polish school. His friends were all standing there. And his Polish, she said, no, uh, what's her name? I'm going to call her Melissa. Oh, she's coming. So this, so he said, oh, why are you polishing your car? So his friends were so young. So he said, no, you must respect your elders. Hmm. She's must now older than him. Hmm. So she said, what the F did he? <laughs> I'm your elders. And so... Like so, so crass. Mm-hmm. I thought, <laughs> but anyway, and so they also there was all their different cultures. Now they don't understand. They must not go to church. They in America, a lot of them don't. But they must. Their churches must start a lot of religion. Mm. They put a lot of things of religion mm. and stuff. So now they're gonna get. But the mother actually approved of her. His, mom, his mother. His mother, because look, she's old, she won't be able to give him a child. Now, in their culture, they must be able to give children. Mm. But the uncles and stuff, they are not so bad. Afterwards, the mother said, if he's happy, then she's happy. Mm. If she wants her, then he can take her. And But now she's worried about her grandchildren. That's going to miss her. Now, why don't you stay there? <laughs> stay there and get yourself an old man. <laughs> no. They want, they're, they're old. I think they're now past yourself, but it's now. And you, she has grandchildren and stuff, mm, Now they want men, but now they go for these people in Ethiopia, like the other girl lady, and from India. And but that Ethiopian one wasn't so old. The lady wasn't mm-hmm, so old. They both young. But there's also culture there. She couldn't mm. come right, but she's. But the big. culture thing is a big thing because you. If you mm. I mean, you. Uh, yeah. It's big. Mm. And if, you don't, if you're not going to make an effort to understand it. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially if you're not going to go live in that country, then, then it's just going to cause problems. But now she's trying to get this K- K-1, is K-1? K-1 visa. I don't know. Is that that 90-day fiancé visa? Mm, then she's going to then she's gonna come over there. What's, what's the answer? Gonna, then, then she's going to go over there. And what I don't know. She is far too... To me, her mouth is not nice the way she speaks to him. Oh. Uh, mommy says like she's very condescending towards him and she doesn't like that. Mm. But the mommy will watch it and then she'll be like, Hey! <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, why are you watching this if you get things? Like I walk past the room and she's just shouting at the TV. Don't even go to hear Especially the people. Uh, <laughs> she's so rude and then she, they still have these, these long false nails and that's what I don't like about them. Even this girl that married, that, that's going to marry, that may not need to marry anymore from Jordan. Uh, mommy gave me a, uh, she said, um, can you please look up on Google these names? I'm like, why can't you look up yourself? So she said, no, um, no, the no, internet is off. <laughs> I was like, that's also another thing there with Jordan, with people from Jordan is, hey, they must now. Be, be, because be, someone be. said, wouldn't the mother want to see she was, she'll commit suicide? If There's they... a guy in India that, oh. that, that, by Jenny, he loves Jenny. He was just going after Jenny for eight years. And he, wo- he was in, in a, in a, uh, what you call it, marriage where they arrange, arrange. arrange marriage and he wasn't happy. Mm. He told mm. him he's not happy. And then he must have correspond with Jenny, but they didn't tell Jenny that he was married. I mean, Jenny came over. Oh, then he was married. So he was married still. And then sure. and then they must came to our house. Everybody, the, the in-laws and his parents and the wife, and it was a big thing. Mm. But then Jenny left for America. But then uh, after a while... Okay, then his, uh, uh, his divorce came through as a lot of, you know, red tape and stuff. But he said to his mother, can him, his mother remember that he wanted, to, he wanted to commit suicide because he loved Jenny. Jenny's mm. also 54 and he's something, but mm. to him he said it's not the age, it's the way Jenny. Jenny mm. is like, like a nice person. Mm. And now at, at the end, now recently, the mother now, he said he's going to have a ring ceremony. He's proposed to Jenny and... So he wanted his mother now to come, so his mother came over to the house. The mother said, over a dead body will you marry her? Because the family, you know, it's most now, you know yeah. how it is, the, 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 mm. the, the family. You must also, like, you must marry in the culture and stuff mm. like that. So she, so, they said, and so she said, if he marries Jenny, then she will commit suicide. Sure. That's a lot. Mm. So he said he, he can't, he, he, he loves it, he only went on his knees and he cried. By his Shame mother and his father, he said, Mom, why don't you want me to be happy? I love Jenny. I don't, you know, I wasn't happy in my in, in my arranged marriage. Why are you doing this? Is it? But why there's lots of girls here in, in India? Mm. Why don't you want somebody that can give you children? Jenny's old already, and Jenny won't mm. be able to give you children. I, and then he, but anyway, then the parents left, 
And then he said, well, now they can't get married because he doesn't, wouldn't like his mother to commit suicide. But now, now also Jenny's uh, visas was expiring and she must go back to marry now mm. with, and that's COVID oh, mm. and all that. But then he took Jenny to some, uh, almost like a picnic place and we almost got a chair for her. And then he gave her this uh, uh, ring. Uh, what you call this ring? Uh, it was like a promise ring. P- a promise ring. And he, has, uh, and he made us, and then the rain came. He said, well, that is the blessings that they're mm, getting mm-hmm. and they were running. And so, so it ended there. So I said, shame, man. Tickle in old man. And she's not with you, your old fro, and she's shame. <laughs> but now, do you think that it's like, like, you know, through this, these kind of shows, you, I think you mentioned something before, but like, how uh, you, you can, you learn more about like, the other, cult- other cultures. cultures. It is. And then you must be so careful also. You just go into with a, 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 a rose colored glasses. Yes, and with stuff on your eyes. <laughs> That's what that was called. <laughs> Blinkers <laughs> on your eyes, and then then you only when you wear the same with the Jordan, uh, the guy from Jordan, his brother or his parents actually cut him off completely, and he got this girl. She's also very worldly, hmm. and she now came, and and now he said, uh, 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 so the brother came, and she got the interpreter, and the brother said that. Uh, uh, that his father belonged to a tribe. The father can't just make decisions, a tribe. And maybe like the, 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 the sheiks and stuff like that. They, and if they decide what the father must do with him, they can either decide they want to kill him sure. or they disown him. Mm. So she said she wouldn't like that. And he's a prepared to go to, I realize, he's prepared to go to America to her. But just before COVID, the, 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 the border was going to close and then she left. Uh, for America and then he stayed behind and shame but she she's feeling so bad because she says she wouldn't like them to she wouldn't want them to to kill him mm-hmm. because of her why must he lose his life but I think at the end but I heard something now that I think the two of them are not together anymore so somebody wrote I hope you will marry a Muslim girl in your culture that you can enjoy life well she's got her, her, her ways of it's totally different. She's a worldly way of in a bikini. They don't want that. Mm. They wanted her to get married in me. In bikinis. A, no, she was. Though they thought that she was in. She's doing porn stuff because the things that they then she still post stuff on 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 Facebook. Then they see these things mm-hmm. and the people can tell the parents. Now any parent is not going to be happy about. It. Imagine it was you and you and and and. and uh, you're not supposed to do these things and yeah i see your husband is having an affair if imagine but that's having an affair and posting bikini photos is two very different yes, things but they must don't want your your flesh to be uh, 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 ladies mm-hmm. uh, flesh is not supposed to be exposed it must be covered and do you not think like outside of now 90 day fiance like do you think that like the stuff that you've watched about like like South African stuff has made you understand like other South African cultures better like when you watch Movango like, mm. I mean, when did you know any other vendor people? But I mean, like, there's not people in your. There's a, you know, talking about Night Day Fiance, and people in Jordan. Mm. But like, in your own country, there's like complete. Like, I used to watch a like, culture shock. You know, it used to come on Emily back in the day, and they used to like take, like, 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 like say now, uh, you, you, they swap, you, uh, like, they swap with, I uh, say, someone from like a different culture in South Africa. Mm. And it was not, and it's like, and it's like, but it's like it's it's wa- it's, it's the wives that they will uh, it's um. like it's like wife swap but they were mm. <laughs> and then it's almost like so the one time they took now like a like a um, what is it a coloured mommy and a daughter but I know they the daughter went to my school and they swapped them with now two wives of one of like the African tribes like a mommy like window or something like that and then now the first week they almost you almost like you observe it yeah you you do yeah. things the way they do or the family does it and the second week you do it now your way. So now the first week, now the African two wives, they were now on the golf course with now the coloured husband and oh. loving liquor. Mm-hmm. And then the next week they told the coloured son, you must go kill the chicken. Those boys cried. I, <laughs> I knew that boy <laughs> from Capstone. But he was like uh, crying in the street here holding this chicken. They told him you must go kill the chicken. I am not traumatic. <laughs> But but uh, it's almost like for me, I like that's interesting because like people they are, are like they are groups. I mean, our country is so small. There's groups within our country. We don't even mm, know how. Don't even know they how. There's lots of groups. Lots yeah. Of like like I mean, people like to lump like everybody in you know 
these are black people this is mm. colored people this is and, and even and within mm, that yeah yes. even within that like yeah. within like the course that types is like now millions of different yeah. versions of it and they just maybe all speak but the same but I suppose it's also why I need to get to know people because there are so many difference but don't you think like that but but don't you think like TV is a good not TV but I mean like st- watching stuff is like a good way of sort of mm. like I mean yes getting to know people but mm. sometimes you don't also like you don't have the opportunity I, I to like meet to watch or, stuff like that <laughs> 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 Yeah, your excuses. <laughs> and so I like to watch stuff like it. Me, you just like people's drama. That's what you like. No, isn't I, I, I like love stuff that's real. That's why I don't I've always like these movies. But you like this is us? Yeah, this is us. But sometimes I also think I. What's the girl's name? Kate. Kate, Kate can get, get over her nonsense or something. <laughs> always problems. But, but you know, it is it's actually true. Because I now watch not ninety day fiance, what is a Chantal family? It was also mm. like that, that, that they was also they were also a ninety day. But anyway, her sister was now always chubby. And the other sister was always that, that was, it was always so uh, slim. And they always used to compare and she had now just as complex. And whenever they always used to say like Oh, Chantal is look like this and Chantal because Chantal has got a body and she's pretty and she is also like, you know, doesn't want to come right all the time. The, 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 the weather is also to do with it. But anyway, so, so shame. So now, at the, now the system has just gave it to her. She just had enough of them and all that. So they were now bad friends and this Chantal couldn't take it because they were always like mm. close. So she went to go approach us and she said, you know, I was so sick and tired when we were growing up. How they compared the two of us. I'm always chubby and I'm this and you that's always what you call it. So that also made her think, what didn't her sister go through all the years? So mm. that is why she met this guy, this um, um, guy with his two children and made her feel so good. Mm. And and you know he, he accepted the the way she is mm. and and she she always had to compete because her mother is just so mother want to have the nails is longer than the daughters and the eyelashes is you know so long you can see it's not the eyelashes and that is why this one family said that the a son-in-law said I wish I can pull that palsy off their heads <laughs> because they show off so you can also see there the siblings how a rivalry man you know you learn you if you, if you watch these shows you actually. Uh, uh, see yourself in that character. Mm. Do you mean if you watch now the reality ones, or what do you mean? Now? I think you learned a lot of them. This is us. Yeah, I think she went from the from the show, like mm. uh, not mm. the real life thing. But I like reality shows on the whole. <laughs> mm. 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 I like to. You watch. never watch the Kardashians and stuff. Like oh that. no, <laughs> no, I don't know that kind of people. They are too. <laughs> she likes she likes real people, people. not Me, like I don't like the Kardashians. Like... Never watch them once. Not like um, rich people. Mm-mm. It's really like it's six tri- triplets. I like them also. Yeah. Because as the mother is like, you can see, man, the compassion she has for the children, mm. her wife, and the husband is always so with her. And she's just real. And I like that other show also with a lot of the children, 14 children. Mm. What's their name? I don't know. I know you're talking about them. But they really discipline their children. I mean, they are a lot together. Twins and queens and I don't know what. <laughs> twins and queens. <laughs> you, but, you, but them, are uh, uh, that, they know how to discipline their children. You can have 14 children, but you can still discipline them, eh? Mm-hmm. When they walk, they walk. <laughs> oh, the, the, the twins, the, 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 the six, the, 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 the triplets has got maybe red on, and the twins got blue on, and the other, there's five, got pink on, and they all <laughs> walk in a row, na? Sure. And the, but, but you know, they're very religious. They, them and the six triplets, they never forget to thank God for. Sweet, is that sweet? Is that sweet home sex triplets? Which one is the one that they is and then? No, no, they no, so they yeah. they the other ones are religious with mm. the with the tw- with the twins, the naughty twins. twins. And it's, what is it? That's all of us who ate <laughs> at the end. At the end. But anyway, <laughs> it's actually nice. And then it that's why I said to Sharon also. Ah, to Sharon, to, to Samantha. Okay, so you now really like Christmas movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I do. laughs> 
I remember last year when you had like a um, when you wanted to have a Christmas movie. <laughs> Dude, I still want to have a Christmas movie. Too, and then nobody but wanted nobody to watch interested. it. You, we came in and then they're watching with like um that fast in the oh, yes. Yeah, Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> that is your Christmas movie. I don't know why people are not into Christmas movies. It just makes you feel good. That's anyway. Mm. I am. But what do you think is that like? What do you? What is your favorite Christmas movie? I like. I mean, I like Scrooge. Mm. I think that's probably one one of the best, and it's. It, I don't know, maybe it's it's based on what's on a Christmas carol, so, um, you know, just where you reevaluating, and I was, I don't know, I was thinking about this, but I suppose the good ones are the ones where you learn something, mm. and where it's also about family, and the spirit of Christmas, mm. and the spirit of being human, and and those things, so, so Scrooge, I like, because it's also funny, and then I also like, obviously, love, actually, mm. um, and I just, I mean, I like the whole, even at the beginning when they talk about airports and, and after that, I just like. But I, I, like, I like the fact that it's like, it starts out like that and then uh, it ends in an airport. In, yeah. And it's just like, and it makes you realize that these are connections that, that people have and everyone has someone and, you know, like I think after that movie, I started like watching people in airports mm. a lot more and trying to figure out what is this, what is this story here? What is <laughs> like, what is, what is going on? You know, so. Um, I like I like that. Um, I like the Family Stone. I know you don't like it. Oh god, the you movie. Know? Um, but it's fun, and I just I just like it. It's funny. <laughs> um, it's awkward. It's extremely awkward. Um, but I think I wonder if that was what they were going for because I mean, if you think of like a family, a Christmas like, it's like fa- that. yeah, family during Christmas time, it's awkward. There's yeah. always going to be difficult. There's always going to be slight friction. There's... I think it's difficult to watch sometimes, like because Sarah Jessica puts her foot in it all the time, uh, with a brother, with a mother, with everybody. Um, but that's how people are. Mm. You know, they they awkward. They're not these like not. It's not like you know, like I've been watching all the like the romantic mm. rom coms, but those are fly by nights, like fly by nights. You know, yeah. you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna last forever. Those Christmas movies, because. Um, yeah, it, it's not real, mm. you know. It's it's that's more like the fluff and mm. feel good. But in a movie like Family Stone, you're getting you're getting family. That's what family is. Mm. is people don't get along. People say the wrong stuff. People get upset. But it still feels like family triumphs at the end of it, even though it's one big f up, you know. <laughs> it, you still kind of at the end of it, you know that these people love you. Mm. Regardless, you know, um, and you, know, you learn that Sarah Jessica's character didn't have all that necessarily. Yeah. You know, she had to grow up. Um, she doesn't know necessarily how to navigate this big family, everybody in your face vibes. <laughs> so that's how people feel with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. I, think, I think maybe for me it's just like I can't because it's, it just it's too close <laughs> I'm, like, yeah. I'm like I've enough of this in my own life I don't have to yeah. I don't want to watch the it movies are supposed to <laughs> escapism now I must look at my family but then again I always I always say like when I, whenever I complain about it I'm like I hate like it, just, it, it rubs me up too much but like Rachel McAdams is that feels so, I feel so represented <laughs> Her character, like, I, well, she's so offside, yeah. <laughs> make, but that's you, right? Eh? Uh, so I'm like, people don't know that they think she's sweet. Oh, she's so shy and sweet, huh? I like, I'm definitely the one that I was like, that that role in the family, I'm like, that is definitely me. You know? <laughs> so, you put other people in your family against roles in that movie, or when no. you think of movies, uh-uh. oh. mm. I don't really think so. I mean, I think I can see a bit of like mommy in that Diane Keaton character. Mm. Yeah. Diane Keaton character in any movie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can't handle Diane Keaton. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I know. Oh, you you think now, like, because I said so. Yeah, because I said so. I think that's mommy. Oh. <laughs> I can't seem to find the movie again, but, yeah. Uh, but she's not so meddling, I don't mm. think. I don't think she has. I mean, as maybe if she was like a single mom, she would have been like that. I don't think she has the time to be, to be all up in our business yeah. like that. Or we just keep her out of our uh, business. That's, that's the way you do it. <laughs> but um, but what? Well, like you you were saying, love actually. 
Um, love actually. I mean, uh, what I like, uh, I think I just also like the movie because it's like this. What do you? I'm I'm not gonna say like a collage of stories, but it's <laughs> not a collage. Um, it's the intertwining of stories um, that I really really like. I love the little boy. It's just like mm. he's like probably. Did you watch the Red Nose one? Like with the reunion one. I think I did, yes, but I can't even remember mm-hmm. it now. You know, I don't remember very well. But I do remember that he, he was he was in there and he was with that girl. Mm. Cute. Cute. Um, and then there's obviously the whole Alan Rickman and Emma Thompson and, you know, and, <sighs> you know, and of course you Grant. <laughs> and he's just too cute. Um, but I do think like the, like, maybe similar to what you said about the family stone with the Alan Rickman and and Emma Thompson situation, it's like, that is a lot of people's family situations. Mm-hmm. Like, someone will, you know, the, the trust will be broken, but they'll still stay together because of, like, mm. you know, because of the children or whatever. So, that is a, a version of, like... Yeah, because it's very easy to, to say, ah, oh, you should have just left him. Or, mm-hmm. You know, but there's sometimes more to a relationship than, you yeah. know, than one thing that happened. So... That, that is also, I suppose, real. Um, but he's probably like the family stone that you, that you see in real lives intertwined. Um, and, and I love the movies where it crosses over like that in, into different, that we're all part of a bigger system. Mm. You know, and something happens in one part of the system that affects another part of the system. Um, I like that because that is the way the world works. The entire world works like that. That... Mm. that your your behavior, your action, you know, has a ripple effect on other things or on other people or um, or just how connected we are, you know. We, you don't even know that I know this one or I'm related to that mm. one and, you know, and that. So I like those movies. I like, as you know, I like a lot of those movies where there are stories that are intertwined and they're all connected by this golden thread mm. of something. Um, and, you know, you try tied all together like oh you know why is the story in this movie yeah. and, and where is this going to like end up and ah. so, so I like that because it feels like a puzzle that you're trying to work out while you're watching it yeah uh, so it's like exciting. so it's like partly like mystery but it's also like mm. you know what I mean yeah it's <laughs> quite and I, I think um, I think I, I, I realize that I also I always like things with like twists so if it's like so if it's like a um a movie where you're like you're trying to work out who's who like like where does Emma Thompson fit in the situation? Oh my word, she's Ugrand's sister, and yeah. you know like, and um Laura Dern works for Alan Rickman, mm. who in turn is you know like. <laughs> but it is. I mean, it's a bit of my crazy, stupid love, but it's also mm. that like when they oh, all come together yeah. and it's like. Peter's, I wish I could go what back. Is that? Peter, what? Peter. Peter, what's that dude's name? Ryan Gosling. Not Ryan Gosling. Kevin Bacon's character. Lynn Hagen. David Lynn Hagen. Lynn Hagen. Yo, and they're like all just like, oh, you David Lynn Hagen. And then they're all correct. You know, no, Lynn Hagen. They're like, Hagen. Yo. It's like so quiet when they're like just, like all those realizations like land on everybody at the same time. I love it. I love it. But then that I I could go back and watch one I mean, okay, a lot of movies. But I mean, like if I could watch something for the first time again, you are that reveal when it was, and then you watch it again and you're like, oh my word, you could have worked out of that. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this Anna that they're always talking about? Or like Anna, whatever. Yeah, because they call it something else. Anna That's banana, like, whatever. Mm. <laughs> That's, mm. But then it is Ryan Gosling. So, so you know. <laughs> Listen, um, what did I say? I, I was thinking about like what was like my favorite um, Christmas movie, and I think you actually took me to watch, but I doubt you will remember this movie. I probably won't. Do you remember I'll Be Home for Christmas? It's got uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas <laughs> 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 and Jessica Biel. No, I don't remember. And, like I went to go watch it at the movies with you, I think, and like I don't know, I just had such a it's probably one of like, the first now. Like I don't know why I like that movie so much. It's just like he's I don't even remember what it's about, but I know he's like. He's trying to get home, but he's like a college or something uh-huh. like that. And he has to like, he had to get like, um, he's like, 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 like jumping off lifts from people and Jessica Bill's nice girlfriend and someone is, I feel like it's Andrew Keegan, but like a okay. guy like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he's like trying to like move in on, on, on Jessica Bill. But like, you know, obviously now when I was, I used to love Seventh Even mm. and um, 
En oh, my proefman. <laughs> en hij lijkt like hem. <laughs> en hij zei, like, yo, dat is my girl from Seventh Heaven. En my guy from Home Improvement in one movie. But, it, I mean, probably it's like this Hallmark movies. Well, I have been, I was watching like the, um, like the Christmas advert on Lifetime. And I see that they have a lot more like diverse uh, <laughs> Christmas movies. Because you look at the Hallmark stuff, it's all like that same girl with like the uh, blonde hair that come like this. and like to a town. To go do something. Uh, yeah. And it's like a boring I looking white like, guy. I, I was feeling like that there's like they're giving me like Christmas movie fatigue on mm. Netflix at Showmax and not mm. fatigue, just that there's not like too s- much. Too much. So I was like, yo, what, what do I choose? Because I don't want to feel like uh, another mm. Christmas movie. So I mean, I watched Alf yesterday mm. for I think the first time because <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> and you laugh for funny. No? It was funny. Yeah, because you know I'm not a big Will Ferrell mm. fan, um, and then I then I watched the documentary on them making Elf. Oh, okay, well, that's also Netflix. That's also Netflix on um, the movies that made us or something that oh, okay. made the holidays or something. And so the first episode is about Elf, and so I thought, okay, wait, they may not watch a documentary. They first watch the mm. movie. So I first watched the movie, and I was like, oh, so additional mm. in there. And, I was like, mm, this is all quite nice. Like, but it's like, I thought, what makes this so nice? But it's like that old Christmas spirit, mm. man. And again, it's family. Yeah. And it's about resonating with loved ones and, and all those things. And of course, family looks different for, for different people. But um, yeah, and then I watched a documentary and the dude that wrote it, because I can't remember their names. But like, he had lost his dad when he was young. So he wanted like this father son Christmas mm. movie. Um, and then he talks about Rudolph the Reindeer, it's like this, like, almost like, type of, it's an old movie that they used yeah. to watch with his dad, and, you know, and then when the director, John, Favre. yeah, came on board, he's like, he has three visions for the movie, mm-hmm. and one is that it must look like this Baskin, whatever, um, Baskin Rob, yeah, oh. something like that, um, Type of movie that Rudolph was made in. Like that. Oh, you uh, mean Rudolph? That that old Rudolph that uh, so that, that red. We. Uh, I don't know. Looks almost like, like stop motion type. Stop of, motion. Yes. Any one stop motion in it, uh-huh. and it must be enduring. It must be. A, it must be an enduring movie. And it was like so lucky to like mm. actually watch like the story behind it. And like he had just had his child, so he wanted to make a movie that his child would be proud of, and how they use. People who were in the crew, their kids in the movie, and mm. you know, and um, so it was actually really nice watching it. And I was thinking, yeah, it is, it is those movies actually where it's almost like there are also kids involved sometimes that just makes you feel like, mm. oh, you know, this is like the miracle of Christmas. Um, it's sometimes about sacrificing, it's sometimes about love. I mean, I there's a short story that I so I don't know, even remember the name. I taught it when I just started teaching and about this lady that cuts off her hair. Old story. She and her husband are, are, are <laughs> she and her husband, they're both poor, they're poor and whatever and he wants to buy this beautiful comb for her hair and she wants to buy him the, um, like he has a watch that his dad gave him or something and you know, they both want to give each, he wants, she wants to buy him a chain and then how does she, and then she cuts her hair off to mm. buy him the chain and he sells the watch to buy the go uh. you know and it's all like these and they're like, both hopeless they're both hopeless and they're both <laughs> like, like useless gifts <laughs> um, but, but yeah like it's like those kind of stories I don't know but maybe I just romanticize it all I just love but it is like it's like a good I mean it is like feel good yeah and it's like and I know it's only like one part of the year and you know, I know that there's a, a bigger significance about, mm. like, you know, it's not about, like, um, you know, But I mean, okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know who put it. Mm. But, um, but I mean, I mean, you know, I know you're saying there's a bigger significance, but, I mean, I think we can both say that what we believe um, Jesus to be is a, is a person of love. Yeah. So this... So what you are saying that you love about Christmas and Christmas movies and Christmas decorations and Christmas spirit is the love of it. Yeah, and it's about reconciliation mm-hmm. and it's about hope and it's about belief. Um, all those things that makes life better, you know. And and for some people, it feel it's they will say, ah, oh, that's the that's the fluff, you know, that's yeah. the airy fairy. But that's what what lifts the human spirit. 
Mm. You know, so if you look at a time like this, so if anyone's going through anything, if you've got something to hope in, if you've got something to believe in, mm. if you have people who love you, um, you know, if you can do that for other people, um, then what's wrong with that? Mm. You know, it will just make the world a better place if if people are more like that. It, I think it just does something to your spirit. Um, yeah. It lifts you up. Um, and I, I don't think there's anyone who can do without that. Mm. You know, as, as much as we think, ah, I'm a loner or I'm a whatever. Um, so I think that Christmas is just a, maybe a time to remember that. Mm. But it's still cool and full of like. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you get presents in. <laughs> and you get presents and. Things are decorated nice. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, so we're thinking a lot now because we were uh, chatting with somebody about like, yeah, there's no, there's no, what is an African Christmas also? Mm. You know, because we very much also. <laughs> It's the white Christmas, and I've had a white Christmas that is magical. Mm. No, it is, it's cold and like it's glistening the snow and yeah. you know all those things. Um, however, both my winter Christmases, I miss my family so much. Mm. For 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 both times, even though it was magical and there was presents and it was 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 great, um, you again come back to what the real meaning is mm. of Christmas and, and that sort of thing. Um, I don't know what I wanted to say. But anyway, yeah. No, you were saying that, um, that like, w- no, you were saying what is an African Christmas? Yeah, yeah. So, so what does it also look like? So, I mean, we don't have, probably because everything's made in China. There's like, you know, you're not, you, everything's snow and, mm. you know, you decorate. And so how do you almost depict um, our own space? You know, mm. how do we depict a Christmas tree that doesn't have snow, but there's something else? You know, the green tree still works because we have green trees here. Mm. But, um, you know, the way you decorate, the way you do things. We have a summer, we have an African Christmas, mm. you know. So, so what does that look like? Because the quintessential snow thingy is not, is not ours. So how do we make that, that more authentic to us? You know, how do we almost celebrate... Without us, it looking like... Without it looking North American, mm. you know, or the North, you know. What is the South? Because half the world has a summer Christmas, <laughs> you know. It's only... And the other half has a winter Christmas, but we're so focused on, on the winter story. Mm. So what is the summer story of Christmas, you know? Um, so, yeah, I've just been thinking a little bit about that. Maybe it's drive drying or barbecuing or whatever. Um, and swimming. And swimming. Because it's hot, uh. you know. Now we want to put on, like, caps <laughs> with <laughs> on the floor, you know, and drink uh, hot chocolate. And it, uh, 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 it doesn't work. <laughs> That's why, you know, Tulbach doing, like, Christmas in July, that works for us. Because mm, you know? it's cold. Because it's cold and you can yeah, add some of that. Mm. But, um... Yeah, so it's also like how do we how do I start doing Christmas that's also more authentic more authentically southern hemisphere or African or yeah. But isn't it like it's really difficult because it kind of feels like you like I remember growing up and we had like the, the I mean the real Christmas trees and I'm like this don't look like the Christmas trees in the movies. <laughs> why did why are the branches so far apart? So maybe someone <laughs> should do a Christmas movie in the south. Well there's this this one coming out now on Netflix. Is it? Uh, South African one. A South African uh. one. Yeah, so I mean, because you know, I mean, you, you the movies is what you grow up with, so you kind of. Yeah. But it, but it will take a while, though. Do you know yeah. what I mean? No, of course it will. Because it does, doesn't that Did you watch you? that Holiday in the Wild? No, I actually haven't watched that one. Oh, so that's also like, um, I feel like it was probably set in like Botswana or something yeah. like that, with Chris, Kristen Davis. Yeah, I, I saw that. Kristen Davis oh. and Rob Lowe. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, like, they... Um, so, anyway, she was at this e- elephant conservation camp and she mm. goes off to her husband, Colin Moss. Colin Moss? <laughs> yeah, so they, I, I'm pretty sure that they filmed, like, New York in South Africa yeah. because everyone was... Uh, even, like, her New York friends, her boss was in an end of the land. Well, I have to watch. <laughs> <laughs> so, they were, like... So everyone is like South African actors, but like, yeah, so her husband divorces her like just before Christmas and a child, to mm. Lowe's son in real life, yeah. was placed her child. He, um, he goes off to college or whatever. 
And then she's like, okay, what you going to do with her life? So she's like, okay, she's going to... So, oh, she she bought this trip to Botswana for her and her husband. Mm. And then he didn't want to go with so she went on her own. And then she meets Rob Lowe and she gets involved she's in this... She's not a bad person <laughs> to meet. Uh, and then she gets involved in this, like, elephant conservation mm. thing. And then she, like, stays there for, like, months after mm. she was supposed to. And then, like, after the trip was over, and then she just, like, moves some of her towel to stay by the, on the conservation mm. camp. And then she spends Christmas there, and it's quite nice. Like, and then, it's obviously, like, a lot of maid families. And then there's, like, um, like all the the, um, the conservation people, mm. their families come through for Christmas, okay. and the sun comes down. Mm. And, like, and like it's just, like, and then they sort of, like, make their own thing. And you can see it's, like, it's summer, and they have, like, and it's, like, they they the Christmas there. And... Mm. And like it was very interesting because now it's like this American woman celebrating a Christmas year and what that looks like also. Mm. Like liquor. Yeah, I don't think that Christmas Chronicles two. Mm, I didn't watch it. Yeah, could Russell them. Could Russell them. Yeah, so I think it's that one. It could be a blurry, but I think yeah, this yeah, is that one. Um, they also like somewhere in the Caribbean or somewhere Mexico mm. or somewhere. Um, you know, she's real upset because she ain't got no snow, mm. you know. And, and again, it's the, it comes to what, you know, the message of Christmas is, doesn't matter where you are, mm. you know. That it's um, that it's still about a family and, you know, being together and all those things. I, I'll say a lot, but I don't know if I'll be able to do a winter Christmas. Like, I don't like, you know, I don't like cold. Look, I think it's something you must experience. I think that there's a, um, it's a different kind of vibe. Mm. I, I don't know, it's dark, you know, so if you, I mean, yeah, but it's dark by three o'clock, <laughs> you know, four o'clock, and um, so the lights are always twinkling, mm. you know, um, people go sometimes way out, I mean, you, it's like you've seen the movies, mm. you know, people doing the gardens and what, what, it's, it's <laughs> like that, so I think it's an experience, it's different, mm. you know, but I mean, I remember when, I think I was in the States, and I was sitting there, and I Marcus mashed potato. I want roast potato. You know. Um, so, but I think it's something to experience. And if there is snow, it's something that's something mm. to experience. So I just think it's a different, it's a different thing. Um, and it is, and it's like the movies. You know, um, you know, they've got big trees erected with, mm. you know, um, which you don't get because the sun goes down at eight o'clock here. So you. It doesn't have the same the, the same vibe, so I just think it's like it's something to experience, but not necessarily something that you want to do all the time. But it's like it's like in the holiday when, I mean, I know uh, Cameron Diaz was in in America, but she was in Los Angeles. It doesn't snow yeah. there, so like when she and Kate Winslet swapped, it mm. was like two different, different. worlds. Yeah. Like that's kind of cool. I should do something like that, but like uh, mm. someone comes to South Africa, Australia, or something. <laughs> 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 yeah, see the experience. Oh, that was Maybe so I nice. Do that. that was a good movie, yeah. So, but yeah, they were a bit irritating. I know we we discussed that for the years and Jude Law was oh, a bit irritating. I, I, I don't mind, obviously, you know, I don't mind Jude Law in anything. No, I but, don't mind him in some things. <laughs> but he, um, and I mean, it is cute, like, with the with the children and stuff. But like, I was like, uh, stop complaining, Kim mm. Diaz. Can't anymore, and then and then Kate Winslet's it's so lovely. Like she has so much problems, and she's just like being nice and helping this old but isn't man. Isn't that so? I mean, you know, the the lives also like. I mean, she had everything, Kevin mm. Diaz, but she didn't have everything. Mm. You know, whereas Kate Winslet maybe came from more humble, humble beginnings <laughs> or whatever. Um, yeah, and then she comes into this like mansion uh-huh. and um, <laughs> yet. Uh, but I mean the story that I don't know if it's a sub story or a story that with the old man. That and, was the best part. You know, and you know how how he spit it again. You know, mm. he, he's because we we do that with old people that we almost like forget about them. Yeah. You know, and they almost extract themselves from 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 society, and we're not always very good at celebrating and supporting and you know remembering mm. the old and celebrating what they've done and, and that sort of thing so I, I really like that part of the movie and how she encourages him and mm. you know to that there's someone in his corner um because i do think that sometimes we you know old people become like problematic we don't want to worry too much about it 
but um, it's a nice it's a nice example of how you can almost like breathing life into someone again you know like mm. giving someone hope giving someone something to look forward to and encouraging and you think like I mean I know you were talking like about like the like the um, the spirit of Christmas mm. the spirit of Christmas because yeah. you know that Santa's Christmas. sleigh used to work on, on Christmas spirit right? what? Yeah, don't you know that? Uh-huh. Yeah. So they say, yeah, like, <laughs> the sleigh goes so, with so, Christmas spirit is high. So is Christmas spirit not high then? Yeah, they got like a, a, a motor in the, in the sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but don't the, the reindeers drive there? Yeah, that's what Alf was saying. He's like, I thought the reindeer drive the sleigh. Mm. And they're like, no, there's a motor in here as well. <laughs> because, you know, you never know. <laughs> but, um... But no, what is this saying about the, um, yeah, with the Christmas spirit, I'm like, do you think that, like, yes, it's about, like, love and family and hope, but you also think it's about, like, doing something for some, you know, like, like, how you can, how do you? Hmm. I, th- I mean, I think ultimately you should be asking yourself that question, like, what do I, how do I make the space around me better? Mm. You know, be it, it doesn't have to be, how do I make the whole world better? It's how do I make the, the spaces around me better? Um, you know, so if you if you believe in the in the the story of Christmas or you or you just subscribe to the spirit of Christmas, mm-hmm. then it's like so what are you doing? You know, what are you doing to, to change the way things are and maybe that change needs to start with you. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and sometimes it's what am I gonna be doing for <laughs> you know, differently. Yeah. You know, to to make the world around me a little bit different, a little bit more kinder. Um, I just think there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of people just have a lot of negativity also. Mm. And people are easy to want to break people down, um, and it's easy to do when you can. I mean, it's easy to do on a fo- on a phone behind a, you know a handle of some sort, but it's also easy to do it in real life where you can you know you just mm. don't have to. Yeah, you can just say what you want to and you can move on and it's freedom of speech or whatever but um, I think you know we can just sometimes start with ourselves it's not it's not big things mm. um, but do you not think that like sometimes like the pressure around Christmas like the pressure to to do certain things or the pressure to have like the perfect space to get the perfect gifts like that sometimes hinders mm. around like hinders what people perceive Christmas to be because I mean I mean, we can't deny this. Like, there's a lot of people that think very negatively about Christmas, and that's not necessarily about the holiday or about you know whatever. It's more about the pressure that was put on them. You know, we have to look perfect. We have to have all these things. We have to spend time with people who treat us terribly. Mm. Because I mean, all people's families aren't great. No, true. That's that is true. I don't. I, I suppose. I mean, look. Uh, it's like anything. Sometimes it's a bad rap because people have experienced bad things. So, um, so I think yeah. Some people, for some people, Christmas is not a happy time because of things that they, you know, they've gone through in their in their own lives. Um, and I think you can you can redefine how you want to mm-hmm. how you want to celebrate your Christmas. You know, it, it's a bit difficult, I suppose, if you still have parents and you know there's certain traditions that you. But I think you can redefine how how you spend Christmas and what you want Christmas or the season to mean. Mm. Um, but I also don't, I also think, yeah, I mean, there is probably a pressure, but where's the pressure coming from? So it's like anything else in life, we have to reevaluate things all the time and, and ask ourselves, ah, you know, is this what I want? Is this the way I want to do it all the time? Mm. You know, so I can continue um, because it's what's expected of me or I can now uh, change the script for myself. Um, so I think it's like anything else in life. So you can, you need to decide that at some point. Um, it doesn't have to be the next Christmas or now, but maybe you, you want to say, you know, in a couple of years' time, we, there's maybe not older people in my family anymore. I'm going to do things a little bit differently mm. because that's not, this is not the way I want it done. But it's also not like a once of thing because I think, oh, you know, everybody's getting things now. Like if you an NGO or something, you're getting a gift or you're getting a something, you know. What do you mean? No, like people will not donate because it's Christmas. Oh, oh, you mean? You know, but maybe I was thinking oh, maybe it's best to do it in February when no one's giving anything. Mm. You know, so so how do you almost take that and and maybe extend it for 
more of the year, you know, than just... So if you see Christmas as a time when you sort of reevaluate, and I mean, mm-hmm. and, I, and I think like within like the Christian calendar, like the whole point of Advent is you're starting again. Mm. So if you see Christmas as a new beginning, as a, as a way of starting again, then it could be a time when you commit to to say for the next year, for the next year I'm going to be doing this. Mm. So I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I suppose people do that with the with the New Year's resolutions. But I mean, I think that you know maybe a, a month before New Year yeah. is a good time to think. Okay, what did I do? What did I? What didn't I like about what yeah, I did this year? Sitting on the thirty first of December, like, let me reflect <laughs> on my, let me reflect <laughs> on my year before I go to my party. Um, it's my, it isn't necessarily the best thing to uh-huh. do, you know. So I think that this time now is to think about, yeah. So how do how do I how do I do things differently for the year to come? Mm. How do I change things? You know, what are those relationships that are important to me that I need to work on that I want to? And and like, what do you think? How do you think Christmas, Christmas during COVID, like? And I mean, obviously, a lot of people can't be with their families or they can't. Um, or they can't, like, you know, do the thing. Like, same now, you know, even if you, you are able to spend time with your family and you're used to going to three friends' houses afterwards mm. and you can't go see them anymore, or yeah. part of your tradition is going to this Christmas market. And you know what I mean? Like, people's mm. traditions are different. So, like, how do you think how do you think it's possible for us to, like, keep the Christmas spirit, like... Because I think it's an intrinsic thing. You need to be thankful for where you are at. Mm. Right now, so I mean, yes, there's things that you can't do. You can't have a hundred people. You can't be maybe going to a market now and you know, exposing yourself and and all that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, if those things that you do for Christmas isn't centered around the intention, mm. you know, then does it really matter? So if you keep the intention, it doesn't really matter what you do. It's the same like everybody was having Zoom parties during COVID. Mm. It, it didn't minimize the fact that I was celebrating my family members. Uh, it, it still helped me to be connected with them. Um, so I see it in the same way because the intention, you know, is not about the decorations and about the list and even the traditions. The intention is about how I feel and what I do. Um, and that needs to, to stay. And you can reinvent how you do that. You know, it doesn't have to be the same old way all the time. So that was our chats with my mom and my sister. Um, my sister Vanessa, you can find at, at Vanessa Walby on almost all social medias. Um, she's probably always willing to talk Christmas with you if you have thoughts or questions or ideas. Um, as for me... I wanted to talk about some of my favorite Christmas movies that weren't mentioned in the episode. So, I mean, briefly mentioned, but I do, my favorite of all time is Love Actually. I have to watch it every Christmas. That's my tradition. Um, Love, Love Actually. Um, Even though we did mention, but I also really love Bridget Jones' Diary. I am in the, I want to say the minority who loves all three. And I can watch all three over and over and over again. But um, but no, I really love the first one, and I and I consider it a Christmas movie because so much of the story happens over Christmas time, and it's just mm, such. I love Colin Firth, Mr. Darcy, has my heart, and Bridget is just the best. I think my favorite Nancy Myers Christmas movie has to be The Holiday, uh, even though I mentioned in the episodes, I'm I don't care for Cameron Diaz. And I prefer to only watch the Kate Winslet scenes. But I also think it's a quite a magical Christmas movie. Um, I love when Harry met Sally. Some would consider it a New Year's movie. But has a lot of Christmas elements to it as well. It's more like a holiday movie if you, if you prefer. Um, my favorite classic is... Um, is a very cliched answer, but what a wonderful life. The way I cried for that movie. I don't even think there were tear ducts left in my eyes. It was just such a beautiful film. And the music and the acting and everything is perfect. Um, when it comes to... I'm not a big fan of the Hallmark movies. I will try it and I will probably watch it. Um, be- because I, I can't deal with too much of the same. So I would enjoy it for a time being, but like I always have like a cap. 
But the the ones in Netflix that I did enjoy was Holiday with with Emma Roberts and Luke. I'm gonna get his name wrong. Bracy, Luke Bracy, the Australian one. He, um, so funny and so cute. Um, I also like The Night Before Christmas, the Vanessa Hudgens one that that premiered last year. I prefer to the Princess Switch because I don't really like the Prince and the Princess Switch. He's like very meh for me. But the the night in in the time travel one, mm, lovely. And then other comic, well, my favorite Tim Burton Christmas movies are Edward Scissorhands and A Nightmare Before Christmas. If you're looking for something a little bit different, not all romancy schmancy, then I would suggest those two. It's quirky, it's funny, it's great movies. Um. Yeah, so following off that, this week I am crashing on. So I'm still having problems with my internet, which means I've had to watch normal normal TV, <laughs> normal terrestrial TV. So I've been watching Killing Eve on um, Fox, but because of uh, they're playing season one and I can they only play two episodes a night, so I have to like tune in at like twenty past six every night to watch, and it feels like back in the day when I would like tune in to watch Seven the Line or something like that. But yeah, I'm really been into it, and I just want my internet to come back so I can watch more episodes because it is so gripping. And then the second episodes, and I have to wait till the next day. What? Anyway, and um. Also, prim- which premieres the 18th of December, Maureen's Black Bottom. Such an excellent film based on the um, August Wilson play. And you can hear, you can feel the sort of like theater-esque way the film is, 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 is done. Viola Davis in the lead, always an amazing actor. And then Chadwick Boseman's last performance. And... If there was a way, if there was a way to choose someone's last performance, it, wow, I know, I'm, I know I'm not making sense, but he was so excellent. Like we knew that he is a great actor, but that movie was just like the cherry on top. And if he doesn't get nominated for an Oscar for that, like I'm rioting in the streets. So yeah, coming out on Christmas is also Bridgerton. And I want to talk more about this, but I'll talk about it maybe next week because it feels uh, I don't want to I don't want to bombard you with things. But yeah, look out for Bridgerton if you like period romances, and um, yeah, and hot period romances. Guys, check out Bridgerton coming out on Christmas Day on Netflix. But yeah. I'll probably write more about it in my newsletter and there will be a review coming up in channel 24. So look out and follow us on the socials. So yeah, that's all from us. You can find me at Karen Walby on Instagram at Karen Walby's with an S on Twitter and sign up for my newsletter World Streams at worldstreams.substack.com. Also follow us on YouTube at What's IGN Crushing On. The podcast can be found at, at Crushing On Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can find more information about this and all our other episodes at our website, crushingonpodcast.com, and send any feedback to crushingonpod at gmail.com. Join our Facebook group, Crushing On Club, where we chat about the show, celebrity news, recommendations, the whole shebang. Let us know what you think about what was discussed in this week's episode by sending us a voice note or email to crushingonpod at gmail.com. The show is produced by me, Karen, and Rebecca Barches. The show is edited and engineered by Rebecca Barches. Our logo was designed by Nathifa Maruf. And the show was created in partnership with IGN Africa. If you like the show, tell everyone that you can any way that you can. Keep up to date with all our episodes by subscribing to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. And please rate and review the episodes on Apple Podcasts, as it helps others find the show. We'll be back next week with another in-depth conversation with a pop culture lover. See you then!